It was a dark and stormy day. Well, that was a lie. It was actually really, really hot. I then sat down on my computer as usual. Not a care in the world. Man, I can't wait to work on my Steam game, Chaotic Conflicts, a online free for all multiplayer FPS game with random events that you can wish list on Steam now. As I opened the project file, my eyes widened. My Steam game got corrupted. What was I gonna do now? All my hard work went down the drain. It's gone. Forever. Did I give up? No, I didn't. I didn't just get 50k views for nothing. That's right, I'm gonna be- So, it's time to start again. All the way from the beginning. But I had a plan. I'm gonna make this remake 10 times better than the original. So, let's get started. Now, one of the first things I did was give my player model fingers. This might seem a little weird, but I'm planning on adding reload animations. These block hands are way too big for any reload animations. So I had to turn them into fingers. You may remember me saying this a few videos ago. I suck at anime. Just look at this. Oh, this is really bad. Oh my. Well, I have good news. I actually improved as an animator. Here's my latest project. It's a massive improvement, but we'll get to that later. Now, I opened up the UE5 FPS template, and you already know the drill. Everything is absolute garbage. Now, since this is a remake and not a new game, I'm gonna be going over the changes I made instead of what I remade, because, you know, that'd be boring. The first change I made was to the HUD. I just made the HUD a lot cleaner and more professional than the old one. I also added a diameter crosshairs, so you know how accurate your weapons are. And even better, it wasn't even that time consuming. Speaking of doing things that are time consuming, I decided to completely change up the animation system in the game. Now, I really wanted to improve on the weapon bobbing, because the one in the last game just wasn't that good. It relied on a curve that just went up and down, just forever. So I took the original curve for the weapon bobbing and just modified it until I had a result like this. Now, I could explain to you how I got it, but the curve looks like this. And I, I failed every single math class. Now, another thing I wanted to add was proper reload animations. Because in the other game, I don't think that really counts as a reload. So I took it upon myself to make new ones. I mean, animating isn't that hard. This should take me like, I don't know, about an hour. That did not take about an hour. It took three days. I had to go into each model, split a port, rig it, and animate it inside Unreal Engine. <laughs> Very fun. But there was a problem with the shotgun reload. See, this shotgun is a pump action shotgun. Which means you load a shell in, you shoot, and then you pump it out. The thing about that is, the more times you shoot, the more shells gotta load it in. So I could animate a different animation for how many shells you shoot, or I could do it with code. Since I'm an amateur animator and hacker man level programmer, you can guess which one I chose. The system is really janky, and sometimes it loads an extra shell, but it's fine. It works. The final thing I did for the reload animations was sound design. I used basically free sounds and stuff I found around my house to make some noises. The AK sound effects were made with a telephone and a nerf gun. The shooting recoil and everything else, those mechanics stayed the same, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Anyhow, another thing I decided to completely change was the movement system. In the old game, we had walking, jumping, and sliding, which is really basic and boring. So I decided to add three more movement options. Sprinting, wall running, and vaulting. It's basically Carlson, but you can press shift to run. I know, I'm very creative. And I really hope you guys enjoy these new features because it took many consecutive real life days. I am basically rotting away at my computer. So before this whole incident happened, we had this map that was basically a weird temple slash Stonehenge design that was in the middle of a forest that was also floating. The original design was pretty dumb and weird. And being called dumb and weird isn't exactly a good thing. Trust me, I would know. I make videos on the internet instead of doing my homework. So I spent another few hours remaking the entire map and just look at this. This is such a massive improvement. It's bigger, it has more verticality, it's just more fit for the player. Look at all the port core you can do on this map. You can do this, you can do that. Uh, honestly, that's, that's about it. The point is, it's a massive upgrade and it's more fun. I also called it the spawn shield. This prevents other players from absolutely lasering you as soon as you spawn in, which was actually a big problem back in the old build. Now that we have the bare bones of the game finished, I think it's time for some testing. People don't understand how to use the new movement system. This means that we need to make a tutorial. So I put together a tutorial map and decided this would be a perfect time to put my full body trackers to use. I know we look like bombs, but trust me, they are full body trackers. Um, they just were DIY'd by some random dude on eBay. You see, I recently got some full body trackers for my birthday in April. You can see how long this video took. Now, something you can do with these trackers is mocap. Basically, make animations, but without the animating. So I recorded a little sequence and added it to the game, and... 
What is my man's posture? The tutorial is in first person anyway, so they're not gonna notice. I took the animation and made a cutscene out of it. And yeah, the tutorial is done. Please play it before you play any part of this game. It's recommended. Please do it. Also, we now have two new random events. That's right, two new random events. Besides that, not much changed. We still have bombs, an OP weapon, 1 HP, and low gravity. But you might notice there's one thing missing from the roster. I decided to remove the zombies. Since we have a new movement system, the zombies just can't keep up. And I just don't know how to program AI that can wall run and just all the other stuff the player can do. So goodbye zombies, you'll be greatly missed. We now have Lava Rising and Fast Fingers. Now, what is Fast Fingers? It basically removes weapon firing cooldown. Basically, making your fire rate faster than a machine gun. Just look at this. <laughs> For the Lava Rising one, I just made this glowing box that rises off the ground and damages you every time you touch it. This pushes you to use the port core mechanics to its fullest and get to higher ground. If you have any ideas for random events, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm freaking out at ideas. Another change I made was to the main menu. Now, if you don't remember or you're just new here, here's what the old main menu looked like. I decided to change from a more grounded view to a bird's eye view so you can see more of the chaos happening with the AIs. Speaking of the AI, I decided to recode them and make them not brain dead because I also wanted a bot play mode so that if there's no one online, you can still play. For a good AI, apparently, you need to use this blackboard manager or whatever it's called. Now, I don't know what this does. For my old AI, I just used blueprints. That's why they ended up so, like, stupid. But this looks relatively simple. I mean, it shouldn't take that long to learn. Uh, many hours later, I have this AI. He's not very smart, but it's not brain dead at least. Let me go over how it works. The AI has three phases, roaming, searching, and shooting. The AI starts in roaming. It will randomly roam the map until it spots another enemy, aka you or another AI. This initiates the shooting phase. The AI will check if it has clear line of sight of you. If it does, they will start shooting at you and move in a random sequence in a small radius around its area. This makes it unpredictable and just better than just standing still and shooting at you. Once the line of sight is obstructed, it will go into hunt mode. This means it will chase the target until they see him or they lose sight long enough for them to lose interest. And since I gave him the brain of a YouTube Shorts user, it's four seconds. Great, now AI is done. They're no longer brain dead, but they're just kind of stupid. Anyhow, here's the finished main menu. It looks way nicer than what we had before. I also changed up the settings menu. You can now customize more of your video options and all option settings are organized under their respective tabs. Also now, you can host your own lobbies online. Yay, no more local hosting. Since I'm using Steam's online system, I can have people host their games and anyone from around the world can join them. I made this simple server browser and yeah, it looks pretty basic, but I can change that later. I can finally stop spending $11 a month on a dedicated server. Thank you, Steve. Very cool. It might not seem like it, but this game took like two months. So please subscribe and wishlist this game on Steam. It shows that you support what I'm doing and helps me out a bit. And if you want to play this update, go download the demo on Steam. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Goodbye, I'm gonna sleep.